So now that we have our, our, our stuff settled, let me get your eyes up here, even if you're not ready for credits, because um, it's, it's fairly easy, but there's like two steps that are very specific, and if you miss them, you miss them. So just want to make sure you, your eyes are up here, right? Um, so I have my credits here. And again, remember, this is how it's going to appear. So make sure you kind of have them the way you want them looking. If you want them on the same line or do you want them skipping lines or like everything you're going to copy and paste. So it's easier to kind of get it looking the way you want it here rather than adjusting it over here. So you know what I'm saying? So if I wanted stuff on the same line, keep them on the same line. Or do you want them like this, right? Like that. Okay. So you have to make that decision. But I'm going to do this. So. I'm going to grab all my text and I'm going to hit copy C or command C, excuse me, copy C. Command C for copy or right click and choose copy. So now I have that all copied ready to go. The other thing you might want to put on your, some people like to put it on their credits, some people like to make a separate piece of text, but I'm just going to put like my movie title, right? You're, if you have a title for your silent short, which you all should definitely have at some point. Some people like to put it like this at the top. Um, others like to have a separate card, a separate set of text for just the title, right? And it's gonna be, so I've copied and pasted it. Now I'm going to hit T. T for the type tool in my projects. Just click on the T. Don't drag a box, just click once. We're gonna put it right here. Don't drag a box, just click it once. And um, all I have to do now is hit paste, command V, boom. What I've noticed is I have a few issues, like this one's kind of coming off a little bit. I might need to shrink it. Um, and you'll notice it's not scrolling yet. It's just there. Okay, a couple things you might want to do before you activate the scrolling. I'm going to double click on my text, go to my effects controls, oops, go to my effects controls, Maybe change the size a little bit so John Jambrino fits. And if it's not working, double click on it. Select Command A. Now we go. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then I like to write justify my stuff. And when I hit write justify, I might need to slide it over. I have a lot of my things write justified. Maybe I want to take MA Digital Production, Digital Filmmaking, and bring it down like that. Um, you'll notice it did not keep the bold or the, the underlines. If you want to bold, you're going to have to do it manually by selecting something and going over here and hopefully the font you choose has different sizes, right? Um, it's a bit of pain in the butt. It is credits, so however you want to do it. Um, again, I'm going to hit Control A or Command A. Uh, I don't like the Minion Pro font. That's their default font. I'm going to try something else. I'll do something a little like there. Do that. I like a little yellow to my font colors. A little yellow hint. A hint of yellow. Just a hint. Not too yellow. Just a, just a hint of yellow to my... That's me. You might like a different one. Don't go too crazy on the format. Don't give your credit strokes and outlines. Unless you... Unless that's your style, like shadows. You can put this, someone was like, can we make a blooper reel? Yes, you can put this over your, your, your projects, right? And have them like that. That makes it hard to read. I need to change that or give it an outline. So copy and paste your, your text, format it how you like. Okay, that's step one. And then let me just show you step two, because you all know how to format your text already. Let me show you step two. You ha here's here's the, the tough part to remember, ready? Here's the tough part. You have to go to window, Choose essential graphics. Essential. They're essential. Right here. So window essential graphics. There might be a quicker way how to get there that I don't know about. I'm still learning this. Um, I'm going to click off of it. And if I click back on my text. So it gave me a whole bunch of options when I first open it up. When I click off of it and then click back onto my text, it gives me very specific options for the text I just created. And there should be something right here that says roll. That's what you do. You hit roll. Boop. And you probably want it to start off screen. And you probably like it to end off screen. So you have that true kind of scrolling credits. 
You can kind of add some time for it to delay at the beginning or the end. That's the pre-roll, post-roll. Um, easing in is kind of accelerating, um, but we don't need to do that either. So all you really need to do is check off roll and make sure start and end are checked on. And now it goes like this. Now, if that's too fast, just grab it and make it longer. There you go. So the, 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 it's pretty easy. You just need to remember to go to window, essential graphics, and then you got to check roll. That's all you got to do. If you want, then notice right there, the formatting got a little off. I'm going to have to go back and maybe format a few things. But now that it's rolled, I can, if I click here, I also get a scrubber. I, can, I have this scroll bar, which helps me get down to here. And I can format these probably with some tabs um, so that they're all lined up. There you go. Tab. Get these all evened out. Probably have to bleep these space. Eh, you get what I'm saying. All right. Um, that's how you do credits. The other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to maybe start with a title. So put some put a title in the beginning. Call it something. If you don't want to have a title in the beginning, give it a title at the end. So the other thing you might want to do is add another piece of text. So if I go back to click text and I click here, right, I'm going to call it like the opening because it's just, it's just Omar opening a door right now for me, right? Um, again, under, if I double click on this text here, under effects controls, I have uh, down a little bit lower, I have different types of fonts and each font gives me different types of things I want to do, right? Gives me little samples. Let's just do that, right? And then this gives me certain things, solid, centered. Can change the size, change the color. There you go. Give it an outline. Change the thickness of the outline. There you go. And there's my, my title card. Someone asked, can you fade in and fade out your title cards? You can do that easily with apply default transition. There is another way to do that, which I'll be showing you later. Apply default transition. All right, so that's text. Um, so go ahead and give yourself credits at the end. Uh, you're gonna need to pull out a song. Can I use a different song for your credits? Totally. Um, and then definitely give yourself the title of your work somewhere. I don't care where, just somewhere. All right, and once again, that place to go to get that roll that roll check off is Window Essential Graphics. There you go. Questions? Okay. In a little bit, we'll be doing uh, transitions and colors.